What are you doing, Emma? This? Oh, my teacher asked us to prepare a bucket list for class, so I'm writing down things I want to do. Sounds interesting. Can I see your list? Sure. Maybe you can make some suggestions. I'm running out of ideas. Oh, I've been skydiving before. It's so much fun. Really? I'm scared of heights, but I would like to try it. What was it like? I went with my cousins while we were on vacation. Honestly, I didn't think I'd have the courage, but my cousins made me do it. We had to watch a lot of videos and run through the training on the procedure before boarding the plane. I was so nervous that I can hardly remember anything the instructor said. When we were in the plane, I was about to back out. They swung open the door and the pilot said, jump whenever you're ready. My jump instructor asked me if I was ready, but I was so scared, I could only nod. I closed my eyes when we actually jumped out of the plane. I was convinced we were going to hit the door or the tail on the way out, but it wasn't so bad. After the initial blast of air and feeling of falling, you start to feel like you're floating. It's a weird experience to explain, but it's definitely worth trying. Once the parachute opened, all my fear went away, and I just enjoyed the rest of the ride down. Wow, you make it sound so easy. I feel like I'd pass out, cry, or something else embarrassing. Nah, you could do it. You're tougher than you think. What else is on the list? Ah, I've been to Japan before. It's great. Really? I went to a couple of cities, Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. I think you'd love it. The nightlife in Tokyo is incredible. There are lots of crazy theme bars and attractions. My friends and I even sang karaoke with some locals. It was a ton of fun. Hmm, bars and singing in front of strangers is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I'd enjoy learning more about the culture, though. I think Japanese art is so beautiful. Then you'd love Kyoto. The architecture is very traditional, and there are lots of beautiful temples to visit. If you go in the spring, you can also do Hanabi. What's that? It's kind of like a festival. When the cherry blossoms bloom, people go out and picnic under the trees. Firework shows are put on at night, and delicious foods are sold on the street, like takoyaki and sweet dumplings called dango. Oh, I love sweets. I'd like to try them. We have similar types of events in Korea. Really? Aren't cherry blossoms a Japanese thing? <laughs> we have them in Korea, too. We picnic by the river when they bloom, and there are stalls selling sweets and other street foods. You should come and visit when I go back in the spring. Maybe I will. We can even cross off another thing on your bucket list, it seems. What's that? Here, you have finish a marathon. The Seoul International Marathon is in March. I've entered the marathon every time I could. Wow. But won't I have to train for a long time to do it? Yeah, you will. You're in good shape already, but a marathon will push you to the absolute limit. Most people start training for a marathon 12 to 20 weeks in advance. Well, we have time then. How can I train for it? The first thing you have to do is find out your base mileage. So go for a run and keep track of how far you've gone. Then slowly build up the distance over time. You should try to run three to five times a week to keep yourself in good form. Also, every other week, you should try and do a long run and really push yourself to see your overall improvement. Also, run at different speeds. There's no way you can maintain a constant speed through a marathon, so you have to get used to changing speeds often. Is that how you prepared? Well, I've been running every morning since high school, so my base mileage was pretty good. But yeah, you eventually get to the point where you start to really enjoy it. You get a runner's high. Yeah, but you do love working out. Nope, not for me. I really respect people who can train like that, but I'm pretty sure I would quit after 10 minutes. Same here. I'd rather not torture myself like that. What do you think, Emma? I think I have a lot of work to do if I want to cross things off this list. Let's start running together next week, Eugene. Sounds great. What are you doing, Emma? This? 
Oh, my teacher asked us to prepare a bucket list for class, so I'm writing down things I want to do. Hmm, bars and singing in front of strangers is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I'd enjoy learning more about the culture, though. You should try to run three to five times a week to keep yourself in good form. Nah, you could do it. Honestly, I didn't think I'd have the courage. But my cousins made me do it. I think I have a lot of work to do if I want to cross things off this list. Let's start running together next week, Eugene. Firework shows are put on at night, and delicious foods are sold on the street, like takoyaki and sweet dumplings called dango. Sure. Maybe you can make some suggestions. I'm running out of ideas. We had to watch a lot of videos and run through the training on the procedure before boarding the plane.